Welcome to the Daytona International Speedway. And it's going to be a partly cloudy day here at the beach in Daytona. And it's going to be a fantastic and exciting day as we get ready for the inaugural race of the FedEx Nationwide Series under the NNSCRA name. And it's going to be at Daytona International Speedway like everything else. On the polls, Ian Dutta in second place is Jessica Shelton. Season 1, race 1, who's going to be victor number 1? Who knows? Why am I asking you these questions? How about we find out right now and let's get those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! Alright boys, just like we talked about the meeting, what's going to pay off for us today is patience and consistency. Good smooth racing on the racetrack, and that's what will take us up to the front. We'll be there at the end of this thing. Cars rolling off the grid. The starting grid should be coming across your screen very momentarily. Who is going to start off the season with uh, no, with the victory? Who's going to start off the season with a great run? Who's going to start off the season with a terrible run? Who knows? You see the starting grid rolling across your screen now. I am pumped up for this race, ladies and gentlemen. The first ever race for these nationwide cars. And it's going to be at the high banks of Daytona International Speedway in just about three quarters of a pace lap. We're only going to be under the green flag for 10 laps in this race. I cannot wait for this season to begin. The starting grid is going to be pretty awesome too. I hope you guys will be able to see it and I hope it comes out the way I hope it, I want it to. It's getting ready for some awesome and epic racing. Can't wait. So far, so good as we watch the, uh, watch the cars head down the back straightaway. We got no rookies, technically, because this is the first season. So, hopefully everybody doesn't drive like rookies in, the, in this season. So, we're going to have to see who's all going to go to victory lane, and by who's all, I mean which driver. One driver will go to victory lane today in the drive for COPD 300. Ten laps. About maybe 15 minutes-ish, maybe. Here we go. The pace car ducks in. These belts are tight. We're getting ready for the drop of the green flag to start the COPD 300. Green flag, and we're racing here at Daytona. Ian Dutta quickly will grab the lead with help from in from, with help on the inside line from Luke Walker in the 10. Jessica's nearest teammate is that five car, but five the five uh, five car is going to stay on that inside line. Look at the 10 car go to the inside now. Luke Walker going to try to go for the lead early on here in the drive for COPD 300. If you want a chance to win this race, you have got to find yourself a way to that inside line very quickly. Luke Walker leads the first lap here at Daytona. Luke Walker has Pichu London right behind him. They're, they are really great friends, Pichu London and Luke Walker. So we'll look for, we'll look for them to try to work together often in this race. We got two team cars on the inside too, the 31 and the 32 from Turner Scout Motorsports. They're on that inside line. They, we could see them working together to get up here. We also can't count out the 99 of Anthony McCurry on that inside line as well. And Luke Walker lead another lap here at Daytona. 31 cars going to the inside of the 22. But the 5 and the 10 continuing to work together. And 
Here comes the 31 car now the inside, but it looks like Dylan Pote and the 32 is just a little bit lower. And they're going to go three wide for the second position. Luke Walker, even though it's early on, is loving this as Dylan Pote now has secured second position. But for how much longer? Oh, looks like it'll be a good while. Oh, we got to watch out of, up here, though. Look at these cars squeezing each other. Dylan Pote has moved into the second. Now he's going for the lead. Dylan Pote going for the lead on the inside line. Pote with Anthony McCurry and James King behind him. Now getting a run to get to get the first position. Oh, James King looking a little bit lower to try to go for second position. To allow Pote to be able to get a run though because he has no one drafting behind him. We gotta watch out. Here comes Joey Stats on the inside line. Pote was being left on an extreme high side. Uh, six laps to go as they cross the start and finish line here in the drive for COPD 300. Look at these cars. Here comes the 99. Uh, here comes the 19 of James King on that inside line with Joey Stats behind him and Seth Cole behind him to help. Now here comes Joey Stats in the three on the inside. Seth Cole behind him. We got uh, 54 who's coming up into the frame here too. That's Joseph Lombard. Got to keep an eye out for him. Trent Dunham also. You know Trent Dunham's history at Daytona. Trent Dunham. These cars are trying. You guys have got to get to an inside line. If these guys, like I said, if you guys want to win at this track, you've got to get the inside line. Joey Stats leads this lap. And we have five laps to go. Will he be able to hold the lead for five laps? Oh, Trent almost got kicked to that middle line. You've got to watch out for that. Trent, Trent Dunham, we got the top three cars breaking away here. Here comes the 54 to the inside. Trent Dunham kicked to the outside, trying to help the three car as much as he can. And the three car probably will have the run off the high line. But right now it's Joseph Lombard who's leaning. He's going to stick to the inside. Wait a minute. Look at the run. The three car is getting on the outside. But it's not going to matter. The 54 leads that lap. Four laps to go here at Daytona. Looks like we could possibly be having a three wide for the lead. Ooh, the 54 just cuts off the 25. Austin LaPlante in the 25 car, man. He started kind of deep in the field. He's worked his way up here. Got to watch these cars scramble behind him. Here comes the 31. He looks like he's going for, going to be going for the second position. Cassandra Renzi, she is going for it on that inside line. We got Toyota, Chevy, Toyota, Chevy. Oops. Here you go. Three laps to go. Three laps remaining at Daytona. Cody Lamas in the 11 is coming on that inside line. Will he? He will have a second spot. Joseph Lombard is loving this view in his rear view mirror right now. As these cars are definitely getting racy behind him. No wrecks have happened as of yet, but we'll, well, you never know. As these cars begin to get racy, here comes Cody. Is going to make a move to the inside. And here comes Jimmy Henderson in the 22 for Penske on that inside line. So now we got Toyota, Toyota, Ford, Chevy. We got Twenix Racing also up, up in the mix too with that one machine. Two laps to go here at Daytona. Two to go. Two to go. These cars are getting three wide behind them. Three wide racing behind them. These guys are trying any possible way they can to get up to the front. Will the 22 make a move? No, but the 38 does. 38 goes straight to the inside. John Trollston in the 38 machine. 
looking to be we're looking to win the first race of the season. Danny Wells' alter ego, John Trollston, looking to have a fantastic first race. It looks like he's going to lose the second spot though to Madison Sieber in the one. Looks like they could be going three wide for second. This is the last lap. It's exactly what the 11 wants to see in his rearview mirror. But hard charging to second. That is Sam Young. Sam Young with his teammate Lily Erickson right behind him. There it comes. He's going to Sam Young to the inside. Immediately going to make the move to the inside to go with his teammate. Teammates from Richard Childress Racing pushing on the inside line. Lily Erickson now gets moved out of line by the 30. Dylan Young pushing Sam to the finish. And it's going to be Sam and Dylan Young finishing 1-2 in the drive for COPD 300. Sam Young will go to victory lane here in the drive for COPD 300 with the help from his good buddy Dylan Young. I can't I don't know if they're brothers or not. I don't really know, but Dale and Young and Sam Young finish 1-2 here at Daytona. As these cars begin their cooldown lap, let's go take a look at our official race results here. Sam Young, Dylan Young, Cody Lamas, Zachary Lombard, Lily Erickson, James Qualls, Madison Sieber, James King, Jimmy Henderson, and John Trollston round out your top 10 as I am now going to save these. Uh, uh. There we go. Results have been saved as Sam Young is going to pull into victory lane here in the drive for COPD 300. Congratulations to him as we're now going to pull down low to see where everybody else has finished. Jessica Shelton. She started second, could not get to the inside line. Uh, it's fallen all the way back to the 32nd place. It's a tough break for her. Uh, pole sitter, of course, was the 29. He finished 16th, so that's not too bad for Ian Dutta. As you see where you finished here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this first race in the books, the inaugural winner is Sam Young. Congratulations to him in victory lane. Dylan Young helped push him to the push him to the victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this race has been brought to you by the NNSCRA. Offline racing at its best. Be sure to comment and keep your eyes and like if you want to. Subscribe if you have not. And we will see you guys next week at some track in the future that we're going to. So, until then, this has been Michael Norman, live from Daytona International Speedway, saying, until we